Pumps, and it begins right now. to have every child reading on grade level by the end of third grade. And now we are asking Houstonians to mentor elementary students either in person or over the internet with the Read Houston Read program. Recently we officially inaugurated this exciting new program. We kicked off our Read Houston Read volunteer campaign here in HISD. Read Houston Read is, our, is a volunteer effort here in HISD that actually has multiple ways that you can volunteer to read with a child. The program will be successful if we can get um, a large number of volunteers to commit to coming on a, on a weekly basis to work with one or two scholars at a time. We're looking for about 1,500 uh, Houstonians to volunteer about an hour a week to read with a child. But another exciting component is what we call the virtual volunteer experience. And that is when a professional or someone from their home can sit down and pick up the phone and for 30 minutes w using their computer and a computer in the classroom can connect with a child and read a book together. A lot of people can't leave the office and go to visit a school. It takes too much time from their day daily routine, so it helps, helps more people participate more effectively in intervening in a positive way in the life of a kid. We as a major company in the Houston area would like to be more involved with not only through financial contributions but also through our employee times. Our flip kits are also available um, in the Houston Public Libraries and so we're hoping that as students become more familiar with the flip kits here in their schools that their families will also uh, utilize these resources in the library um, during their home time. Low literacy rates affects all of us. Ultimately it affects us through higher crime rates, higher poverty rates, higher dropout rates. We recognize that what we have to do is we have to start early and we have to be urgent and we have to do best practices. No more will we allow um, scholars to go on to third grade not reading on grade level. No more will our scholars go on to middle school and high school not prepared, not able to read fluently and on level. Joining me now is the Director of Literacy, Cindy Perrier, and Garcia Elementary Principal, Aaron Dominguez. Cindy, Aaron, I want to say thank you very much for joining us here today. So, Cindy, tell me some more about this program. How many volunteers are we looking for for the Read Houston Read program? Read Houston Read is a community outreach volunteer effort. We're looking for about 1,500 volunteers from all over the community. Uh, some will be doing face-to-face, -face, some will be doing virtual. We have lots of different opportunities, but it's, um, it's a face-to-face volunteer effort where there's really three components. One is the volunteer will read aloud to the child where they just share a book with a child. The second is that they'll be doing an activity that supports the comprehension of that book. Uh, very hands-on, fun, little, quick little activity. And then the third thing which I think is very exciting is, is that the child will actually be bringing a just right familiar book with them that they have practiced that they can then share in a read aloud with their mentor. So the mentor begins reading to the child, then they do an activity, and then the child actually gets to read to the mentor. Oh, that's fantastic. It is. It's going to be great. So tell me, why is this program important? Why is it critical for the Houston Independent School District and the city of Houston in general? Well, you know, I think the thing is, is, is that it's really pretty simple, and that is, is that for children to be able to grow as readers, they have to read. If you want to learn how to play an instrument, you have to play the instrument. If you want to learn how to ride a bicycle, you have to ride a bicycle. If you want to learn how to read, you have to read. And so we're not asking for volunteers to have be highly skilled in teaching the skills of reading. What we're asking volunteers to do is to just simply celebrate a book with a child so that we can actually grow children who love reading. So an interesting component behind this program is the use of technology. We can actually have folks either come in person or use a computer. Can you explain mm -hmm. to our audience what that's all about? I'd love to. 
we do have the face-to-face, -face, which we've just been talking about, but the other option that we have is we recognize that Houston is absolutely full of people who would love to volunteer, they would love to read with a child on a regular basis, but they just simply cannot get away from the office. They can't give an hour or two a week, but they can give 30 minutes. And what they do is it's, this, it's just this simple. They pick up the phone right there at their desk, they dial into the classroom, the phone rings in the classroom, and they have the child that they mentor, shall we say virtually. Um, the same book comes up on their computer in the classroom and the mentor's computer in their office. So they're looking at the same book. The child has a, a mouthpiece and an earphone where they can hear what the mentor is saying. Uh, they read, they read together, they talk about the book, they talk about comprehension, they do a little bit of word work, and then in 30 minutes um, they say goodbye, I'll, I'll meet you again on the phone next week, and in 30 minutes their volunteerism is, is complete. Wow, that's really, really, it is. that's amazing. Yeah. Now, Aaron, mm -hmm. you are the proud principal of Macario Garcia Elementary, right? Absolutely. And how are you going to read the, how are you going to be implementing the Read Houston Read program at your school? So, um, at our school to look, we're, we're going to be using the face-to-face the -face model um, primarily. And so what will happen is, um, once we get our volunteers set, They'll come in um, into the school, and right there when they come to the come into the school, there's going to be this adorable um, kiosk there, and hanging from the kiosk are going to be um, these bags with everything that the volunteer will need to execute the, the the interaction with the scholar with excellence. So they'll pick up the bag, and in there will be um, the book, any of the consumable materials, um, you know, everything that they need to to, to engage with the scholar. They'll walk, um, you know, to the to the scholar's classroom, pick up the child, and then we're going to have a couple different locations around the school. That's going to be a little bit more of a, um, you know, kind of a cool, a little bit more intimate setting where the volunteer and the scholar can can interact um, during the read aloud, do the activities together, and um, the volunteer can hear the child read. You know, James Cromer says that no learning occurs without a significant relationship. And what's going to be really um, exciting about this initiative that I think is different from others is, is the commitment that we're asking the volunteers to make. To not just come once or to drop in once in a while, but that you're committing to coming every single week to work with the same one or two um, child at the same school. That's, that creates an environment for an incredible relationship to, uh, to, uh, to form and be established. And then once you have that, um, we're really expecting um, our scholars that are in the program to begin to blossom in their literacy um, as they build that relationship and the reading skills. Wow. So it's building a relationship and building community. Absolutely. That's fantastic. So Cindy, what kind of skills are we looking for in the mentors and what kind of training opportunities are available for them? You really don't need to be a skilled teacher in order to be a mentor. Uh, we are going to provide um, some trainings. We're actually providing face-to-face -face training for our volunteers on September the 26th and then again on October 3rd. We'll have three sessions each day for a total of six sessions. Uh, the Nye House Education Center is helping us to, um, to train the volunteers on uh, strategies that they can use before, during, and after their read aloud with the child. Um, and then the Children's Museum is going to come and train them on using the kits that Erin just talked about um, that are totally inclusive of everything that you need. All you have to do is just grab and go and uh, pick up the bag. Um, and so they'll be, total, they'll be completely trained on that. Uh, and then we also have an online training that the volunteers can go to if you just need a little refresher. Nye House and the Children's Museum have agreed to do some very short little videos on the things that are important for uh, mentors to know. And so you can visit um, the website at readhoustonread.com and to get a little refresher course. So if someone is interested in participating in this particular fantastic program, who should they contact? So there's a website, and believe mm -hmm. it's it's as simple as readhoustonread.com, right? Mm -hmm. That's um, right? They go to the website, and everything they need um, as far as getting information and signing up is is right there. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now I know that when I went to the press conference, there were several community partners that were there. Can you share some of the folks that are participating in this program? Mm -hmm. 
Well, you know, we absolutely could not do this if it were not for those wonderful people. Uh, first of all, we have the Barbara Bush Houston Literacy Foundation uh, that have been so generous. Uh, Philip 66 has been um, very, very generous as well. Of course, and I don't want to forget the museum and the mm -hmm. Nyehouse Center, Absolutely. while they are giving of their time and talents and energy. Uh, the Duddleston Foundation has been so generous with, um, with the funding for this. Um, and then also, um, not necessarily just with Read Houston Read, uh, but Target. Target has been so generous in making sure that not just our kindergarten, first, second, and third grade classes have the reading materials for Just Right books, but that also our pre-K have read aloud books because we know that that's what pre-K children need in order to build um, their vocabulary and learn what readers do when they read and how they think when they read. And then also helping us with some of our fourth and fifth grade classrooms with uh, classroom libraries that um, so we're really very thankful for Target, even though uh, it's not directly tied to the Reed Houston Read. They've been very generous as well. Yeah, and I think it's really exciting. Um, it seems like the, the community at large, as they see as they see other people get involved, like they want in too. You know, so we have Target. And I know for us at the school level, our business partners are seeing what's happening, and and they couldn't be more excited to to join in. So I know we we partner with Mi Tienda, with Chick Fil A, and BBVA Compass, and and they once they heard about it, they're all in, and they're they said I couldn't think of a better way. Um, you know, to spend my lunch hour um, while I'm at work than to come here and, and read with, with some of your first graders. Well, this is a tremendous program. I'm extraordinarily excited about it, especially we since we have so many community partners. Mm -hmm. It involves the community getting involved with mentors coming into our school, working with the children, reading as a priority, and just building our community. So That's thank right. you so much absolutely. for your dedication and for all of your hard work. Mm -hmm. Thank you for thank having you. us. Yep, thank you. Absolutely. Houston, we need you. We're asking for a half hour once a week to help battle the literacy crisis. I encourage you to go online and fill out the Read Houston Read volunteer request form and share the magic of reading. You can make a real difference in a child's life. Stay with us as we introduce you to the founding members of the HISD Student Congress next on HISD Up Close.